Hi, this is Nitin Kumar with another video of my Samsung Galaxy S3. This time I'm just proving the launchers which I've installed in my phone. This is the unlock screen. This is the leaves wallpaper which I just downloaded today. Very very beautiful. Fully customizable eye wallpaper. Okay. Now for going into my home screens. The different launchers which I have, sorry. You can see AWD launcher, the Apex launcher, the Go launcher, launcher pro, Nova launcher, QQ launcher, TouchWiz. These are launchers which I have installed except for TouchWiz home which is the default launcher. Second, this is AWD launcher. This is the launcher which is the most famous launcher you can see when Android came out in the Froyo and Gingerbread. You can see it looks actually like the 2.1. The icon just scrolls side to side. The spacings are good, the, everything is in name voice order and you can see there's some codes over here that shows which screen you are 1, 2, 3, 4, it has 5 screens so there's nothing over here and there's 4, four on the other side second, third, this is the main screen, fourth, fifth then there's the phone button it looks exactly like the 2.1 eclair Okay, that's one which I have. The next one which I would like to preview is the Apex Launcher. This is based on the Honeycomb, the standard Honeycomb one. Looks like, I'm sorry, not Honeycomb, sorry, it's the ICS. Standard ICS effects it has. Uh, as far as I know, ICS is the best ever uh, home screen for any Android. Till now, 4.0, it's really, really nice. I don't know why do the companies like Samsung and HTC spoil it by launching their own skins over it. This looks a lot like it. You can see the transition effects when you go slowly, you can see the page by page effects. This thing is extra, the downloader. There's no such thing as downloader in it. That is extra. And it's the same thing, it has apps, it has widgets. This button over here is a place to, in normal ones play store, but here you can manage apps, apex settings, system settings, lock, desktop, help. The apex settings, if you go, you can change the different transitions. You can do the transitions in it. I haven't done anything. I just wanted to show it. The dock settings, the behavior settings. You can change the themes. Everything you can do in this. Okay. The next one is the goal launcher. Another very famous launcher. Which I used to use in my Samsung Galaxy S2. This one is completely customizable, you can customize the way, you can the themes you can change. There's so many many themes and you can see this is their so called uh, task manager. See the effects, very nice effects. And this one you can complete you can get complete detail they'll show you. You can change the wallpaper, you can change the themes. And you can change the scrolling effects also. Change the scrolling effects also. Oh, pretty decent theme. Like I said, it was perfect till when I used to use the S2. But for S3, I don't think it's needed. Because I think touch is more than enough. Okay, the next one is the Launcher Pro. Another very famous one in the pre uh, ICS days. This is up to down scroller pretty fast, no lag, it used, to be my it used to be one of the two launchers, three launchers, the Apex, the Go and the Launcher Pro were the ones which I used in my S2 when it was in 2.2 and 2.3, it is fully customizable, you can change the docks over here, okay, there is no lag in this, like I said, ICS st standard one is really really nice, you don't need any of this now. And, uh, Next one is the Nova launcher. This is another ICS based launcher. Giving the same effects. This seems slightly faster than Apex. This, you can see apps over here, widgets over here. There's no downloaded thing. But that widget one don't work. You have to press this icon over here and then you get the play stores and all. For getting the widgets, if you click it, the widgets come like this, which is non ICS. But still, as I said, there's no lag, nothing. You can see it's very 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 smooth. 
in the same FX. Only thing you can completely more customize it. It does five home screens. You can see the end. Like I see, this shows the end of it, end of the page. Like someone is pulling something. And the next one after the uh, is the QQ launch. It's a Chinese launch. Same thing with the Sai home screen. This is more like the MIUI launcher. That is the task manager built in. This is the window. It just keeps going side to side. No stop. And then you can change the themes of this thing. Change the themes. You can change it how you want to sort it, list wise, etc. So it's a very customizable launcher. Like I said, there's no point of all this anymore because. Uh, the touch wheels on this is really really good enough. And now the standard touch wheels. This is infinite scrolling one. With the apps. Like I said, it looks more like the Sony Ericsson ones, but somehow none of the interviewers kind of uh, said that point. It looks a lot like the Sony. Yeah, it looks a lot like Sony. The widgets over here. The one thing I hate about this launcher, it makes it seems like it is the gingerbread version. They didn't do anything for ICS. The touchless launcher and this is the one which I'm going to keep standard on this. But I think it's fast enough. It's not as cartoonish as the S1 and S2. It's pretty fast, decent enough. That's it for the time being. Now wait for the next video.